Thank you, Director, Governor. What happened in this area on this day 14 years ago changed our world. And it changed the way we Americans think about that world. It also reinforced some ways we think about each other. To this day, it has made us think differently about who we are as a nation and our place in a very puzzled world. And it also made us think about what we are capable of doing as human beings, especially as a result of what the passengers and crew of Flight 93 did on this day 14 years ago. First, the events of 9-11 changed our view of the world. It certainly changed the way we think about America's place in the world. After 9-11, we all recognized that we were not separate. We were not apart from the troubled world. We learned on that tragic day that we were in fact connected in ways we never imagined possible. We learned that the world outside was in fact no longer outside. What happened in New York City and right here on September 11th will forever be part of who we are. There are few people whose hearts were not affected by what they saw on the television screens from New York City. The image of those twin towers burning seared us to our cores. And there are equally few who can ever forget hearing or reading about what happened on Flight 93 here. What might have been had Flight 93 gone where the hijackers wanted it to go must continue to haunt us for many years to come. And this brings us to the second thing we learned on September 11th, 2001. It is that we are, each one of us, capable of doing remarkably selfless and heroic things. Because on September 11th, 2001, a handful of people, passengers and crew, made a huge difference to the course of our own history. What they did saved countless lives in Washington, DC. What they did averted a terrible tragedy that would have taken place there had they not acted as they did here. And what they did told us all a great deal about the potential nobility that lies within each of us. Their actions on this day ennobled all of us. It gave us a remarkable example of human behavior at its best. It showed us what each of us is capable of doing. And it elicited swift and effective reactions from the people around us, around here from emergency responders from this area, from the area residents, from good leaders like Governor Tom Ridge, who's here today, who pledged the resources of the Commonwealth to provide what it could to help, and from the folks at the National Park Service and beyond who understood that our nation needed to pay concrete tribute in the form of this center to the deeds of the passengers and crew of Flight 93. So today's memorial service is a chance for us to reflect on what these good people did. It's a good day to reflect on what it all means. They reacted nobly and bravely and voluntarily to a new world few of us were ready for. In doing what they did, they taught us something about what that new world might mean for us and what it might ask of us. And in doing what they did, they showed each of us what good we are actually capable of doing. Today, we remember what they did on September 11th, 2001. We will never forget, and we will be forever grateful. Thank you.